Welcome to the DZ Report. Don't you know I love haters? <laughs> so, Beyonce basically had the milkshake sample removed from her um from her song. Which I saw that she was coming under fire. See, Beyonce. You see, Beyonce knew Kalish doesn't have nothing to lose. So Kalish just kept blasting her on social media. The Beehive came out talking about she at least made you relevant for 24 hours. <clears throat> you should at least be thankful. Thankful for what? Beyonce stole that chick song. Pharrell didn't write one track. Why do you think they removed? Because Khalees aired they the aired they ass out. <laughs> she aired them out. And it was smooth how she aired them out. Because for years Khalees had to sit back and bite the bullet of not having her on masters and none of that stuff. And then you're going to have Beyonce do it. Beyonce has always been thieving from people. She's always thieved from people. She's always done that. She always looked to say, okay, what song should I take? <laughs> that's just her whole, that's her whole M.O. Her whole M.O. has always been, I'm going to take a song or I'm going to take this. Or, I'm going to do that. And she gets away with it because you blind idiots fall for it. <clears throat> you know, it's not your fault that you're idiots, but you're idiots. Y'all let Beyonce, Jay-Z and all these idiots brainwash you into believing that they create a lot of this music. No, they don't. Beyonce plus she had to take a word off of there that was ableist or atheist or something ableist or some type of word that they got mad about but she removed it because she was getting heat she was getting heat from everybody the beehive couldn't save her this time because Khalees had receipts <laughs> you see when somebody come out and go at you that ain't got nothing to lose it's hard for you to even counter that and it was hard for them to counter that and then people started pulling stuff up on Beyonce, been stealing for years. And B was like, no, nah, just take it off the album. Because Beyonce don't want, see, this ain't, <laughs> see, back in the day, you could submerge Khalees and get her out the way. Now you can't. You got social media. You can block her account. She could come on another account now. She can do other things. She can go on somebody else's account. She can go on somebody else's stream yard if she have to. I don't think she's savvy like that, but they were talking about say thank you. Thank you for what? Beyonce was wrong. She removed it from the album and y'all still trying to fight for Beyonce? <laughs> Dude, Beyonce knew she was wrong. And and Khalees said she didn't have a problem with Beyonce using it. All she wanted was the decency of Beyonce to say, yo, Khalees, I wanted to use your sample. Khalees would have been cool with it, even though she don't have the rights to it. <laughs> the rights go to um, Pharrell, but still, it's just common courtesy. It's like, even if even if this isn't your house, like per se, if I walk into the house, but you live there, I'm still going to show you a respect and acknowledge you because that's just what you're supposed to do. But see, we've lost that. We've lost that as people. We've lost that as you know, as a community, as a society, you know. And I'm proud of Khalees, man. Proud of her. Because she stood up to it. She was like, hell no. <laughs> Khalees said, hell no. You stole my shit. <laughs> you stole it. And she did. She stole it. Now my other page on the Welcome to HD TV page, um, I'm gonna talk. I'm probably gonna go live 
you, the live probably didn't happen by the time you guys seen this video. But I'm finna talk about Nelly. <laughs> Nelly sent the little sneak, uh, uh, sent the little, sent, sent the little sneak this to Herb God. It was clean too how he did it. That was smooth how he did it. Shout out to him too for that. But I wanted to wait till I hear Nelly respond. You know, I I knew Ashanti. Ashanti is like, I ain't dealing with that. I wanted to hear what Nelly said. Nelly rubbed it in. Nelly gave her a hug. And, dude, Nelly could get hurt anytime he want. <laughs> dude, that's Nelly. You know? But I don't want to go too far off track. But, yeah, B, if you got to this video late, B removed the song from her album, The Renaissance. She removed it which she should have never did it in the first place. If she would have done it, she should have asked Khalees, yo, could I do this? Just to be courteous about it. But see, all y'all be like, oh, that's Beyonce. Y'all be giving her all this bail. And I'm like, bro, Beyonce is not all that. <laughs> She's always been overrated. Rihanna's better than her. Latoya Luckett's better than her. It's a lot of women that's better than her. They just didn't get the shine. Now, as an entertainer, oh, Beyonce is probably in like the top five, top ten all-time entertainers. But if we're talking about R&B, we're talking about singer, then nah. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. She not the greatest singer or nothing all time. So that ain't going to work. So, you might as well put that to bed. You need to put that to bed, to bed, to bed. But yeah, shout out to Khalees. Shout out to Khalees for getting that done. And to the beehive. Shut the uck up. Shut, shut, shut the uck up. <laughs> Thank y'all for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, go to the description box. Hit that link that will take you to the cash app. You could donate whatever your heart's desire. You know, thank you for coming by. This is the DZ Report, and we're signing off. Peace.